The Standard Penetration Test, or SPT, is a widely used test method in geotic nickel engineering to determine the strength and bearing capacity of soil. Standard penetration test measures the penetration resistance of the soil through a parameter called N value. This parameter can then be used to determine other engineering parameters to be used in the design of different engineering interventions for the site development. Since many geodic nickel parameters are correlated to SPT N value, every blow must impart a consistent energy to the soil being tested. A hammer delivering a lower energy than required may yield a higher end value while the opposite may yield a lower end value than the actual. These both entail problems in the design and construction of engineering interventions. The SPT hammer is the key tool used in this test. It is designed to deliver a specific amount of energy to the soil during each blow. One of the ways to ensure that the correct energy is imparted to the soil is ensuring that the hammer's weight is within the acceptable values. The drop height of the SPT hammer affects the energy transferred to the split spoon sampler, which in turn affects the penetration resistance of the soil. By using a consistent drop height, we can ensure that the energy delivered by the hammer is consistent from one test to another. The drop height of the hammer together with the mass of the hammer affects the end value obtained from the test. By using the correct drop height and hammer weight, we can obtain accurate and reliable end values. Here is the apparatus that we use to measure the energy delivered to the sampler. This is a PDA analyzer with an instrumented SPT rod connected to it. Like with the pile driving, it measures the force and velocity for every blow and will be used for the estimation of the actual energy of the SPT setup. Once the setup is complete, SPT will be conducted to at least three depths starting from three meters below the natural ground. Blow count and penetration will be recorded for each completed SPT. We can perform more and at deeper depths for more reliable calibration. This is also one way to check if the energy transfer is maintained at deeper depths during testing. After processing of the data for a particular test hole and test setup together with the measured weight, drop height, and actual energy imparted to the sampler, the energy transfer ratio can now be determined. Here in GPI, it is our standard to maintain the ETR of our drilling rigs to be above 60% for reliable test data, anytime and anywhere. Once we find out that a machine's ETR is below the desired, we do appropriate measures such as adding removing mass from the hammer, maintaining the drop height, resurfacing of the hammer guide, and lubrication of the trip system. In cases that we do the energy calibration for other companies, we recommend a correction factor for the SPT setup that was tested. In summary, SPT energy calibration is a critical step in the SPT test process. It ensures that the energy delivered by the hammer is accurate and consistent, which leads to reliable and accurate test results. By performing SPT energy calibration, we can be confident in the strength and bearing capacity of the soil and ensure the safety and stability of structures to be built on it.